It'll be ready in a minute. Hey, Kirk, there are a couple of little kids over there, and they're uh, looking at this tape cover that's kind of mature. You might want to put that stuff on a higher shelf or something. Mature? How mature? Uh, it's a half-naked woman just standing there. Is she a blonde? What? I'll check it out right now. I think I got rabies. It's just a bus, Paris. It smelled. It smelled like a bus. I'm gonna have to burn my clothes when I get home. You know, Paris, you have a car. We could have driven. We have to get the feel of a small town world. You're not going to get the feel of a small town world in a BMW. Is there something crawling in my hair? All right, so we're here now. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Where's the bad part of town? Uh, over there. What? Uh, people. They're very upset with the color of that fence. Come on. I, this is the town, Paris. This is it. It's not seedy. It's not run down. It's just stars hollow. Well, where's the local bar? In Woodbridge. Why aren't you helping? I'm trying. You're just looking for something that's not here. <sighs> What's this? Luke's diner. Diner? OK, good. Good. What are you doing? I'm trying just to blend in, fade away, observe. Hey, Rory. Coffee? Thanks, Luke. Who's your friend? Angela Lansbury. Huh? You're the owner here? Yep. You want some coffee, Angela? No, thanks. OK. So you're on the diner, huh? Oh, boy. You get a lot of truckers through here? Truckers? Yeah. You know, guys on the road for weeks, lonely, looking for company, a little pick-me-up, things like that. What's she talking about? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> it's pretty common knowledge that diners are breeding grounds for prostitution and drug dealers. What? Have you ever seen anything like that going down here? Have I ever? What about that guy over there? What's his story? Reverend Nichols? Reverend Nichols, huh? Was that like Dr. Feelgood? Rory, how much do you like this person? Do what you gotta do, Luke. Hey, where'd he come from? What's up there? Is that where you keep the girls? You got yourself a little cat house up there? Wow, I think she got you, Uncle Luke. You better give up now. Do not add to this insanity. An innocent boy like me should not be raised in an atmosphere like this. Jess? I want to be good. Life just not letting me. Rory, get her out of here. OK, let's go. Why do you need me to leave? What have you got to hide? Paris, let's go. Thing, not even a cigarette butt on the ground. I can't believe it. This town would make Frank Capper want to throw up. Sorry, I tried to tell you. I know. I know. It's just, I was so sure. Well, think of something else to write about, I promise. We're going to lose. We're not going to lose. There she is, the girl of the moment. Me? You, young lady, are my hero. Why is that, Taylor? Because in this day and age, when the kids are willy-nilly with their clothes and hair and morals, it is heartwarming to see a sensible girl like you still exists. A girl who has the gumption and the guts to stand up and say, why are we allowing this trash out where all our children can see it? And a few selected adults also. What are you talking about? Well, come on in and see for yourself. What happened? Where is everything? Well, thanks to your brilliant suggestion, they are all safely stashed behind the Rory Curtain. The what? We thought it was only fitting to name it after you. No! I don't want a Rory Curtain. I never asked for a Rory Curtain. You told me to put that movie where the kids couldn't see it. You did? Well, yeah, but I, I just meant to put it on a higher shelf, not to get fabric involved. Oh, this is much better than a higher shelf. Now, all the movies that we deem objectionable will be safely hidden from the eyes of the children. Plus, it'll make the adults think twice before they go back there. No, I did not mean to do this. What are you doing? This is it. This is what? Our story. Censorship in a small town is perfect. Paris, stop it. You know I don't believe in censorship. Even better. Small town lines run amok. This is genius. It's gold. We're going to win. Now, Taylor. Yes. On the record, how long have you been working? Nice picture. Gee, thanks. You're very popular right now. I bet if you burn a few books, they'd probably make you mayor. This is ridiculous. I don't know. But you'd have a lot of supporters on this. Pat Buchanan, Jay Falwell, Kathy Lee Gifford. Bye. Oh, come on, it's a little funny. No. Being the poster girl for censorship is not a little funny. The only videos not behind that curtain are Bambi and Dumbo. I mean, they actually had a meeting earlier about whether or not babes should be behind the curtain so as not to offend people who keep kosher. It's a crazy world we live in. Where do they even find that stupid picture? Oh, the picture's good. It's the people who are stupid. I'm never going to be able to leave my house again. Well, at least you won't starve. I can't look at it anymore. Relax. I don't think it'll be around very long. Why? Just a guess. Jess. Enjoy the food. Come back here. Why? I'll give you an egg roll. Yes? What did you do? Nothing much. Just wanted to make sure whoever rented Dumbo or Bambi gets a little surprise. What kind of a surprise? What did you do? You owe me an egg roll. Ugh. <laughs>